Okay, wait, no, hold on, don't go anywhere. You have to watch this video because this QNAP NAS right here is more than just a box with hard drives in it that stores your files. It really is. Okay, so it is a box that holds hard drives. Uh, the TS269L takes two hard drives. It can run in RAID 0, RAID 1, or JBOD. It has a front USB 2.0 port. You can see it uses front-loaded sliders for the drives. It has an Intel Atom processor. More on that in a moment, because it does need the horsepower. It has two more USB 2 ports in the back, two USB 3 ports in the back, eSATA in the back, two redundant Ethernet ports in the back, a locking connector, as well as finally a power input but the real magic is not in the hardware this right here kind of says it all this software enables you not only to store your files in one place safely but also make them available to you anywhere in the world okay we've seen that before and even use your nas as a streamer so that is whether it's itunes or dlna it'll work or even a dedicated media box check this out Oh yeah, that HDMI connection on the back that I didn't mention before, boom, HDMI cable included. HDMI connection can plug right into your PC. And the way the UI works is completely different from anything we've seen on a NAS before. So there is a multitasking, multi-window capable operating system. This is a Linux-based OS that is running directly off of the NAS. It allows things like organizing, it allows things like installing applications. So for example, on this particular NAS, we have their HD media app as well as XBMC, YouTube, and Chrome installed, which allows this NAS to act like a bona fide smart TV replacement. Now the Russian told me that this feature was really easy to use. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this HDMI cable. All right, so this is their, ah, here we go. Ah. HD Center, and I didn't really quite believe him because sometimes the Russian tells me things and I'm just like, are you imagining it or is it in reality actually a thing? Um, so anyway, basically all you do is plug an HDMI cable into the back of the QNAP NAS and boom, there it is. So you can take the apps that you have installed, such as Google Chrome, fire them up, there you go, there's Google. You can do things like look at news or read your Gmail from the couch, and then you can close it, and you can go to XBMC to watch media files. So in this case, we're using a keyboard and mouse plugged into the QNAP NAS. You could use a wireless one just as easily as anything else. So you can browse from your couch. So we're gonna check out videos, files, multimedia, and here we are. So here's Esther introducing the Vancouver event. So I'm just gonna move that mouse off there. It's nice and snappy. I mean, XBMC, our expectations are anything that runs XBMC is gonna have a pretty good overall usage experience. So we can go ahead and escape out of here, power down XBMC, and boom, we're back to here. So YouTube, yeah, in order to use this function, you need this, and we have those things. And there's a YouTube player app as well. So very cool and actually easy to use. Now we're back to the desktop and it is time to demo QSync. So what QSync um, enables is Dropbox-like functionality, synchronizing files between multiple places with one simple upload, but it's a personal cloud rather than a cloud where you're entrusting your data to someone who you've never even met. So all you gotta do is install the QuickSync utility on your PC or Mac. So you just click the button here to install it. We've already done that. Then you access files on your mobile devices by downloading QFile. It's available for iOS and Android. So check this out, guys. All I have to do is take the QSync folder, which much like the Dropbox folder is created by the application, take some file. So in this case, we're gonna take, oh, I don't know, uh, a logo. So we're gonna chuck an AMD logo in there. Then I take the app, which is installed on my phone. So the main features of the QFile app are the ability to access files, to have easy sharing. So you can actually share links to your QFile files to other people. You can also edit the files and sort of delete them, move them around anyway. So here we are inside the app and boom, there's the logo right there. I just opened up an AMD logo on my phone just like that.
Couple more apps I just want to highlight. The Q Manager app allows you to manage your NAS remotely and the Q Mobile one allows you to discover your NAS and stream media files from your NAS to your mobile device. So all of this is very cool, but a lot of the time power users look at these app enabled or cloud devices as sort of like, eh, yeah, it's probably kind of dumbed down for me because that's what happens a lot of the time. But with their new software, QNAP has not taken away the functionality that made their NAS is so powerful in the past. If you go into the control panel, there's all the customizable stuff you want, user quotas, RAID levels, uh, network configurations that are specific to Windows, OS 10, or even Linux, and all that normal stuff you're used to, even iSCSI management, is still in there. So thank you guys for watching this episode of NCIX Tech Tips on the NAS that is a lot more than just a NAS. Don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips for more videos like this from NCIX.com.